Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. If you could do me a huge favor, leave a like on this one before we get started. But let's get into the first topic. Now, first one is Chelsea set record price tag after Tuchel's doubts dispelled. Now, this is about Chelsea looking to sign a player who it has previous with one of our strikers, Christopher Nkunku. Now, he was at RB Leipzig. I'm sure you can see where this is going. He played alongside Timo Werner um, like in the years leading up to when we got him. Of course, he was signed from PSG in 2019 and he signed a five-year deal there. Um, and he was at, at Leipzig and we saw, you know, when the rumours were coming out of Chelsea going for Timo Werner, we were seeing Timo Werner notching great numbers um, in the Bundesliga that year. I was watching RB Leipzig play and I remember thinking, damn, these two are really good together. You see Nkunku who sort of plays a little bit off the striker, um, whether that's the wingers or the sort of bit behind. And then you had Timo going as well. And they worked so well together. And Kungu really impressed me. And I remember just like the past few months, I've just every now and then have a little think of like, man, what Timo would probably do alongside this guy again. It looks like Chelsea could be going in for him. It's going to cost over 60 million euros if we're going to do it. So it's going to be expensive if we go with it. It says Chelsea have been credited with interest along with Manchester City and Real Madrid. So... You know, that's tough opposition to go up against when you're trying to sign a player. Not only because of the pull they have, you know, City have the pull of winning trophies at the moment. Real Madrid with the history, they both have money as well. So it's not even like we can offer a higher wage package or something like that. It's going to be very difficult to prime for one of them. But it's very possible, especially given the links with Timo Werner. Um, but it does go to say that when Tuchel was in charge of PSG in, uh, in Cuckoo's final season at the club, Tuchel wasn't very sure of him and then he ended up leaving. Apparently, um, over you know their performances in the Bundesliga and the Champions League, they have finally dispelled Thomas Tuchel's doubts. So any doubts that Tuchel had over Nkunku, they're not there anymore. He now sees that he's a top player and that he could use him in this Chelsea team. So let's take a look at Christopher Nkunku, the things that he has done. Um, won a few different trophies out in France and such. We can see more. Uh, all of them here, French Cup winners, um, French champions of PSG three times. So even though that's a fairly common thing. If you play for PSG, you should be the champion. He did do it um, out at PSG, uh, valued at 38.7 million based on transfer marked. Um, probably, you know, closer to what I'd expect. 40 to 50 is probably where I'd expect to see a team paying for him. But this article does say that it's going to be over 60 million euros. So that is euros, this is pounds. But, you know, I think 60 plus is quite a bit. That's a lot of money. Um, he's only 23 years old, so he's fairly young, not massively tall, but decent. Um, and as you can see here, his main position is definitely behind the striker, and then he could play off them on the left or the right. So he's got options there. Um, we could use him, certainly. I mean, if we're playing Lukaku up front, he'd definitely be one of the ones in behind, alongside a Mason Mount, a Kai Havertz, whatever. If we are going to switch system, then he's available on the wings as well. So there's plenty of options available for him in our team. The only problem being is, for me, that's a position we have covered, like, with plenty. And we have Pulisic who can play there, Mason Mount, Cal hudson Adoy can play there, Kai Havertz, Timo Werner, I'm probably forgetting Ziyech in there. It's ridiculous. We have enough players that can play the sort of cam off the striker roles. Um, so this would rely on us getting players out. You know, they, they can't, we can't be signing him and not getting rid of... Ziesh Pulisic, like a couple of these players because they're just not getting game time at the moment. Um, yeah, you can look through this, you can see his stats then. Seven appearances in the league this year, four goals, two assists, which is pretty decent. I'd take that. Two in the Champions League and managed four goals. So he's doing really well. Overall, 10 appearances, nine goals, three assists this season. So he's having a great season so far. Like I said, I saw him doing well with Timo Werner. My opinion on this, I'd like to see what you guys think down in the comment section down below. But my opinion is that we don't need him, so I'm going to say no, let's not bother doing this unless we get rid of some players. If we're not going to get rid of Ziyech, Pulisic, some of these players that just aren't really getting time, Pulisic's injured all the time, you know, we could get rid of them. And there's no point in signing him, but if we are going to do that, I think he'd be a strong player and hopefully could be a resurgence for Timo Werner being used to playing with him maybe that gets Timo in that fiery form that we saw him in in his last season at Leipzig so 
that's my opinion. I'd love to know what you guys think on this one, but let's move on to the next topic. So onto the next topic, and this one could be interesting, right? So hear me out. Long-term Chelsea target is likely to leave his club on a free transfer. And you can see pictured here facing away from us is Nicolas Sule, uh, the centre-back, of course, currently at Bayern Munich. Now, we'll switch over to this for a quick second here. You can see that his contract in the top right runs out in 2022 this next summer coming up do we know anyone else's contract who's a central defender who runs out in 2022 yes antonio rudiger now is this a likely thing to happen i'm not sure but by and have interest in rudiger we've had a lot of previous interest in nicholas sule their contracts are both running out at the same time in the same summer is it possible that we see a switch happen in that sule comes to chelsea and um, and Rudiger goes to Bayern Munich. I think that's very possible. He's valued at about 30 mil, and he's only 26 years old. He's a centre back that's very tall. Personally, I've always you know hear, see him here and there playing for Bayern Munich. He's having a good season, seven appearances so far, one yellow card. But we don't really see much with defender stats here, so it's hard to judge on that. But I hear that he's had a good season. Seen a bit of him in the Champions League. You can see he's made two appearances. Is this something we could see happening? Now, this does go on to say, you know, Rudiger ha hasn't signed his contract extension. It's the same for Nicolas Sule. We've been um, linked with him as a, an interested party by The Athletic back in April. So it's not even that long ago. It's very possible that we see this happen. Now, could we possibly see us extending Rudiger's contract? and getting Sule, maybe, you know, we were interested in Jules Kunde, so it's clear that we want another defender in the club of a sort of top level. Kunde definitely more so one for the future, so he's 26, so he's entering that sort of prime of his career. That's a very interesting situation. Now, if we could get Sule in, I guess I'd be happy with that, because we've got, you know, Thiago Silva's getting older, he's, he's good, he's great this season, but he's not capable of playing all these games. As P, of course, is aging as well. I'm pretty sure he's 32. Getting Nicolas Sule in on a free transfer this next year. Sort of phasing out Thiago Silva. I could see it happening. Now, I, I, I want it to happen. Whether it will happen, I'm not too sure. Um, in this article, it does mention that there's sort of... Um, the, the fees, the wage that Sule wants is maybe a little more than um than Bayern are wanting to offer and there's sort of slow negotiations going on there so he might just re-sign there and that's very possible but it's an interesting one if we could get him in on a free that would be a massive deal because we have got a couple of aging center backs so I'm interested in this one I think there might be a split on this I don't I think there's some people that just say let's not bother just get Rudiger back in and we'll go another season with this defense so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below um, I am going to go on to end the video there though. If you guys did enjoy it, please again, leave a like on the video, subscribe so you stay up to date with all the future videos. I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.